Hey guys, it's your boy Gary Bears, and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool promo where I lost them off the. Hicks up over. He big. He win. Over. Her. Sure. He big team. You will have to watch the last episode to find out because why would I spoil it? Why would I? Why would I? Because then you're not gonna go watch it. If you haven't watched it, and if you have watched it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Now! Here we are again, another weekend has arrived. And, uh, I do want to talk about... I will be talking about some Liverpool stuff, but first, something bigger than everything. Earlier in the week, there was a horrific tragedy that struck um, a uh, Brazilian club. Uh, I actually can't pronounce their name. But, I mean, y you know the one. You know, you exactly. If you follow sports at all, if you watch Sky Sports News, you would have seen it. Just a horrific tragedy. That took so many lives. It is just horrific. You know, as Liverpool fans, we can really sympathize because you know we've been there, having a had a tragedy that really impacted the, the team with uh, Hillsborough. Uh, Manchester United fans can even. Uh, Defenders look to the forecast before relate with uh with the Munich air disaster. So some teams it's it, it's tragedies have happened before, but this was just so so shocking, so unbelievable, and you know to see how the football world seemingly united and. There's talk of a lot of support going in towards this unfortunate team. And I mean, if I could do something, I would. I mean, I'm a, I'm a small YouTuber. But I would implore... Any of you who watch me, who watch, you know, the big YouTuber, there's with massive reaches, you know, like your KSI's, your AA Nice Skills, your Penfez, Bates, and all them, them millions of subscribers, millions of people they can get involved. Well, go to any video they've uploaded. They go to their Twitters, their Facebooks, implore them, because we as football fans should do what we can. And I, and consider this team, this could happen to any team. It's the goalkeeper's ball. As unfortunate as it is, it could have happened to anything. It could have happened to uh, no matter how big, no matter how small. Oh. I mean, it could have happened to Real Madrid. It could have happened to Barcelona. It could have happened to Manchester City, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester United. No team could have been un... Could have. I mean... Just know. Well, they will have and I the now to defend the corner. He really hopes that there are people that understand that yes, this could happen to absolutely anyone. And we as football fans, we should do what we can. I, I personally, like I said, I can't do anything. I mean, I wish I could, I wish I could, but I can't. I don't have the power in the FIFA YouTube community to unite people and but 
the people with the bigger subscriber or uh, counts, you know, they're losing subscribers hand over fist because YouTube may be broken at the moment. Um, which uh, almost everyone is complaining about. This is an awful. Another shot. Well, a damp moment on a damp day for him. Even if they are losing all those subscribers, hundreds of maybe thousands of subscribers every day, they still have the reach that they can make a big impact. I mean, I don't know how you would prevent this from happening in the future because, you know, it was a plane crash. Uh, planes are very necessary part of football. I mean, you have to get the game somehow. I mean, they were never going to bust the Colombia as a Brazilian team. It, it would just take them too long. It would cost too much gas. And yes, in the long run, it would have saved all those lives. Maybe. I mean, no. They could have crashed as the car, I mean, or the bus or whatever, I mean, not like driving is 100% safe, but, I mean, if they, they, if they weren't on the plane, it, they wouldn't have been struck with such a big tragedy, but, you, you guys get what I'm saying, I mean, I'm probably making absolutely no sense, but, I, I, could, I hope I'm, I'm getting some my message across, you know? Coutinho. Attacking now. And, um... That's great defending there, stopping that attack. This is especially hard... Especially considering most of those people who would have had children, some of them maybe not, but they would have had other family members who now must. I mean, imagine all the kids who lost their fathers. First, first, Christmas comes around later this month, and. and Maybe a young child will ask their mommy, where, where's dad, you know? He, he hasn't been home in a month, in about a month. Well, it, it'll be about a month then. I'm not sure how children are, are in terms of passing the time in Brazil. I don't know how that, how, how uh, how good they are at that. Um, I'll have a Brazilian education. But, um, just imagine that. And, like I said, I can't do anything, but if we can have the big names reach out, have big people, have Huge top YouTubers, celebrities, just anyone, reach out, do whatever they can, even if it's giving money, giving stuff, stuff away. I mean, let's let's unite and. Help get these people. Well, they'll never get over it. I mean, this is not something you can get over. But, you know, help make the pain, you know, not as bad. You know, help, help bring some bit of joy back into their lives after such an horrible church. And, I mean, I really. Working hard just to see maybe a I mean, goal. And uh don't 
don't take me uh, going from one story to another as a sign of you know, disinterest or disrespect or anything like that. I purely just want to talk about some other things and I mean the video will have a very sour you know feel to it if I just continue to talk about this horrible horrible tragedy. Like I said, I just implore you guys to just do what you can and get in so you know, make the let let the uh a ask the big name big name people celebrities, YouTubers, there's big YouTubers with massive amount of subscribers. And see if they and you know YouTubers aren't aren't horrible people. They they will pull they can make a difference and and you'd be surprised how much your voice will be heard. Now, on to slightly uh, happier topics. Well, I say happier topics. It's not exactly a happy topic if you're a Liverpool fan, but I guess it's happier than what I just talked about. I mean, an injury... Injuries aren't great, but, you know, at least the players are still around. Shots on here. You know? see the deflection there. Corner. Ref's gone back to deal with that earlier incident. Yellow card. He's one of my favorite refs. Wait, why is this guy getting the yellow card? Oh. A foul on uh, Firmino. Manny! Oh, Moya! That sneaks it in at the back post. <laughs> It took 83 minutes. Why is it when I, you seemingly have some things that I want to talk about, and you know important things I want to talk about, like that tragedy. It seems like, I, maybe it's just I don't concentrate enough. Enough. Hmm. The supporters, Alan, trying to play their part here and lift the home team. Yeah, I think they believe, Martin. The question is, do those players... Anyway, um, as I was saying, yeah, a few injuries have befallen Liverpool recently. Like I said, it, it, I'm not trying to like put this on the same level. This is nowhere near the same level. It's that tragedy. I mean, it's... Any... The backs, uh, yeah, for Liverpool fans because you know we're out some key players for a while. But those that for that team, they just lost a lot of key players forever. Coutinho will be back. Those guys, they won't. So I'm in no way trying to compare. So, let's just get that straight, okay? Arsenal 1, Crystal Palace 2, Bournemouth 0. <coughs> Excuse me. Brighton and Hill Valley 0, Liverpool 1, Hull City 2, Norwich City 2. Now, Manchester City 0, Chelsea 2. Yes. It's a pain. But... I think with Jurgen Klopp leading the line, I mean, if this was still Brendan Rodgers' Liverpool, I might be more worried than I am. I'm, 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 I'm annoyed, but I'm not, you know, like, I'm not panicking. You know, normally I'd be panicking my ass off right now because, oh, holy shit, a lot of our good players are injured. What the fuck do we do? But no, no, right now, oh, and this, this isn't as bleak as it normally is. I mean, injuries happen, nothing really you can do about them. I mean, they are avoidable sometimes, but 
most of the time they're not. You just have to power through them and you just have to say, you know what, we'll get through this. We can play this guy or this guy. We have the depth to where it shouldn't be an issue. And under Jurgen Klopp, I know he had some injuries at Dortmund. And Dortmund had a bad season. The Dortmund had, had a bad season from the start. Hurt. And while hopefully he, these injuries won't lead to Liverpool having a bad few run of games. Yes. Hopefully that's not going to be the case. Hopefully we can power through them. I, I think we can. I think I am. I'm not as worried as I normally would be with Liverpool because I believe so much in Jurgen Klopp that he can guess through this. You know, that's that's the power of someone like a Klopp. You know, he can motivate a team him like no other. Just passion and the determination that he shows every game. He, he almost, you can almost see it in the players as well. And that is really cool. It is really cool. cool. That you know, the players, they're not going to sit on their hands just because some players are in it. Now, admittedly, he, the Leeds game didn't exactly show that fight and determination that we're hoping to see over the next couple of weeks. And, and so, because if I'm going to be honest, Leeds should have beaten us. No Liverpool fan can say we deserve to win that match. Absolutely not. We didn't deserve to win that match. Leeds just didn't take their chances. And we capitalized. It's as simple as that. Does that make the victory any less... This... You know... Important? No. I mean... At the end of the day... We won, now we're playing Southampton in the semi-final, and if we can somehow get past them, we'll probably be playing Manchester United in the final. No offense, Hull, but your record isn't exactly good against Manchester United, according to, uh, to pundits and, you know, just general memory. So, yeah. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Yeah, I picked the right game. I was trying to think of who was in my group. That's why I was uh, on that screen for a bit. And then I remembered, oh wait, I'm not dirt. And Galatasaray, because I beat Galatasaray in the first game. And I remember. I was like, I know it's someone we played in the front. Then it clicked. Oh yeah, Milan Derp. The greatest cup final ever. Or no de debate. And while that may be a bit biased, do I care? Do I fuck? Nope. <laughs> it's the best one in football history. If you disagree, you just wait now. So Alan, 4-4-2. Yeah, I think it looks that way. And it's a headed effort at goal. Oh, Rigi. Yes. And this man, this man might be why he, he, Mr. Coutinho might not be a big issue. Because two games, well, one and a, one game and a bit, like a game and an hour of another game, because Coutinho went off like it. In the 30th minute or something like that and against um, 
has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Last week. And um... And Griffiths. Um, I don't remember. Fuck okay, you. Um. Sunlight. Sunlight. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Almost lost his footing. I was thinking Southampton, but then I was like, no, that was the week before. And then I was thinking Bournemouth, but that's a uh, that's a uh, Sunday, which is the uh, fourth. So yeah. No, um, no, no, uh, it clicked fit, finally, and, uh, it was, um, the sun burned. It was like, I know they're, someone managed by a really shit manager. They just want, I think they were on a good run, maybe, and then, and then it clicked. <laughs> That's twice I've had to think about something and then it clicked after I thought about it for a few seconds. So, uh, yeah, interesting. Ah, oh, how did he get there before you, Grinch? For God's sake! No wonder I don't play you in the first team. Well, that and your 77 rated. Hits it towards goal! Well, hit hard, but straight at the goalkeeper. Oh, good save from Gordon, despite the fact that it was offside. I mean, if I was a goalkeeper, or, or I wouldn't even bother if I knew that it was offside. But I would, I would have to know it was offside. I wouldn't stand there like an idiot if I didn't know it was offside. Well, if if I didn't know, then. Maybe I pull out the same it just in case, but hmm. I don't know where I was going with that. Anytime you're ready to referee to uh, blue whistle. Really? I got all the way to the goal. Look at him, he was all over me. It was like a fucking prom date before free or what the fuck is that? Oh! They are not on this occasion. The uh, control and the shot. Not, not exactly a uh, top class finish. <laughs> In fact, there was no finish. He, he missed badly. Oh! oh. More may finish. Yes, he will. Oh, turn it! Oh, 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 this guy, this kid, this kid is unreal. Well, now I can see why he's so highly rated. I mean, if he is this good in real life, Dortmund have a gem on their hands, which will probably mean he's going to go to Bayern in the next couple of years. But hey, what can you do? <laughs> let's, just, let's just be honest. That's what happens to all, almost all the Dortmund players. Like... I think the only reason Marco Royce has not been picked up by Bayern yet is because Ribéry is still around. And I, I mean, they did just get the, they have Douglas Costa now, so I don't even know if they're going to want him. Because, they, no, in addition to Douglas Costa, they have Kingsley Goldman, who Juventus let go for some reason. I know it was a loan, but there's an option to buy. And they probably agree a really low figure because they weren't expecting Kingsley Goldman to, to become a hang it. And special. Well, he went to the like, nah, this kid's got nothing. Will be a free kick here. But, uh, he's definitely not got nothing. He has got, uh, 
a lot of quality. And shots on here. And um, talent for the uh, for the, the career that he has ahead of him. Here's a chance to attack. Trying to find an opening. Not panicking. And here's the shot. Oh, what a goal! It's actually it's Dembele. Hey. What a goal! I'm not even mad. Normally I'd be pissed off by a goal. Oh god, yeah, yeah, me. I can't really be even mad about that. That was fantastic. I don't mind conceding a fantastic goal. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it, but you know, if the goal is good, I'll say fair play. Fair play. And that is why I say fair play. And the kickoff for the second half of their second game in the Champions Cup group stage. I enjoyed the first half, and uh, I don't think it'll be too much different in this second. Diva Corrigi attacking Rigi. Looking to play as Rich. James Milner. James Milner. Very good passes. This team of passes. Theor. Looking for Rigi! Didn't find him. Nah. Ah, Torres. Go away, Colo. Oh, remember, we he made you good again. As unlikely as that seemed. The Premier League fixture. And now the goalkeeper can maybe think about starting the attack. Well, he could have kept the ball, but he didn't. Substitution. Oh. No. Really. Good forward play. And Ray Moore! Oh, I thought Gordon had come out far enough. He didn't. I shouldn't have gone for the chip. My bad. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, come on, referee. I got the ball. What are you talking about? What, what are you even on? What? 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 Winning the ball is an offence now, is it? That's that's interesting. Oh look, he just won the ball from me. He offence. Twat. Alexander Arnold. Oh, more. How did Gordon say that? Why are keepers so bullshit in this game? Look at my heart stopper. <laughs> Into the attacking third. Oh, it's a poor cross. Not well hit at all. Dealt with by... Uh, I hate that bullshit. That should be... be classed as a back pass. 20 minutes of the 90... Which, you know, is against the rules. It should be. I don't know why it isn't, because technically it, it is a pass. Even if he only touches a cross, that doesn't make it any less of a pass. Yes, if it goes to somebody. And don't say he was... Don't play all on first touch, because that is complete bullshit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why? Every thing isn't go nothing is going right. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. Wait, what am I doing? That's what I wanted to bring on, not you. And I'm gonna bring on LeBlanc for Hamizimia. Get some fresh lights onto this uh, pitch. There goes the cross. Done well, the defender, to stop that cross. Played into the middle. Defender to nice 
Queen ball. Oh. All right. Turns it away from danger. Head that back. Or completely miss the header. Or oh, that's okay too, I guess. Ah, I thought I'd just keep that in. It's now or never. I think they've got to lift the game. Good position. They've worked this. Rigi, get away from Tori. He overtows you. Oh, scoring absolutely no chance, and that should wrap up the three points. I mean, one goal in Celtic are straight back into this match, but. Competition for goalkeeping in this team, and I think he might just be going down the pecking order after this. Well, we know the life of a keeper you make a mistake, and invariably it comes back to haunt you, and that was a big mistake. Just to remind I don't, I don't think they're gonna score two goals. I just, I just have, have this feeling that they're not gonna do that. Now Griffiths, and in he goes with the tackle. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Corner now for Liverpool. Boya. Yeah. Boya! Yeah. 4 1. Definitely game over now. Oh, no question about it now. That's another goal from Moya. Yeah. I might be inflating his appearances, but he is getting the goal. No, I didn't expect to so warrant it, isn't he? Top notch today. Because that is another goal. When he scored the winner against Brighton after coming on and off the bed. He might be he my own little super sub. Francesco Moya. You a little boss. And that definitely, like I said, already that puts it well out of Celtic's reach. I mean, and we're never going to score for two who go holes in their a lot of time. And, but now they need three in practically no time. So, they got a uh, go hole. It was a good go hole. I will. Well, continue to praise it because well, it was a good goal. You all saw it. But in the end, it led to nothing more than a consolation. And I pick up the four-one victory. And Milan and Fenerbahce drew, which means I have six points. I think Milan are second with two. CSKA Moscow one. I could be wrong. I will have to check that. I just do that. One. Check the uh, table. Manchester United are back in the second. You know, after Arsenal took the uh, Reigns a second for one week. Good work, Arsenal. Come on, what the hell is this? Where the hell is the champion really? Hello? Ah, oh, there we go. No, no, no. Ah, here it is. Yeah, see? Two fucking points. I have a four point gap after two games. You know, this, is, this group is going to be easy. Because you know who my next game is? Milan! <laughs> Yo! Thank you, I will take the easiest rack route to the uh, knockout stages. It's my curiosity. Hmm. Interesting. What is even more interesting is the fact that this is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. Ooh. Ooh. And until next time, I'll be all. Have a very, very nice day. Peace!